welcome to this video guys in this video i will be discussing four main topics so i'll start with a brief discussion about the exam its format and what you expected what you can expect during the exam after that i will help you set up kubernetes on your local machine so it will help you practice in the future all of your hands on labs and things like that after that i will briefly walk you through the study material or the courses that i personally will be using for my preparation and then we will dive into the core concepts so the core concepts is the first main domain of the exam and it amounts to 13% of the total weightage in the exam so let's quickly go through the exam details as you must be aware the exam is a 2 hour long exam it's a proctored exam online so you can take the exam from your home but you need to keep your webcam on all the time and you have 19 questions so within 2 hours you have to solve 19 questions that is if you think about it each question you can give around 6 minutes and from all of my research so far what i have gathered is time management is one of the most important skill during the exam if you are stuck on any one of the questions just make a note of that question and keep moving on that is the most important thing during the exam you might have some surprise questions that you might feel like they are out of syllabus so don't waste time go ahead and keep moving the exam is targeted towards an application developer and not for the administrators so if you are a software engineer you know your application very well and you are expected to basically configure the application deploy it on the kubernetes cluster and make your application accessible from the outside world so the topics covered in the exam revolve around these concepts of design build configure and expose your cloud native applications for the local setup i highly recommend you to do local setup uh, because as you know the exam is very much a hands on exam and you need to be very comfortable with the terminal and using the terminal commands as well as web editor and this is one of the things i forgot to mention to you in the last slide in the test environment you are given access to an in browser terminal and the only editor you have access to by default is vim you will not be able to use vs code sublime text and all of those editors so you need to at least have a basic familiarity with vim how to navigate within the file how to change the text how to save the file exit the file and that kind of thing so for the local setup you have few different options one is you can use docker for desktop or you can use minikube both of these are available for free uh, and then if you if your computer is not powerful enough uh, you can even spin up a cluster on g cloud so you can sign up for the account and you get i think 300 dollars credit uh, which you can use to create a, your playground on the cloud itself but in this video i am not going to delve deeper into that so i will personally i am using docker desktop and i will show you so i will post the links in the description when you go to the site you'll be able to download the app for your respective operating system and once you install it just like any other desktop app and you run it you will see this small icon on the top right and by default kubernetes is not running it's not enabled by default so you will not need to go into preferences go to kubernetes tab and click on enable kubernetes so when you are just spinning it up for the first time it might take a while for it to start and then you should be able to see kubernetes is running that's a green status and that means now you have it set up on your system so what you can do to confirm is basically you can go back to the terminal <clears throat> and then you can just write this command 
and you will see uh, one node is running and it's the status is ready so basically your playground is ready and we can start diving into the hands-on practice and for those of you who are looking to install minikube uh, it basically installs virtual machine on your pc and then you're able to add the cluster or spin up the nodes inside that so you'll find the instructions for minikube on kubernetes official site and i will be posting a link to this resource as well uh, so you just basically have to follow the instructions for your respective os and i think then you'll be able to install it very easily but as far as the labs are concerned as far as the hands-on demos are concerned it doesn't matter if you're using minikube or docker desktop uh, they both are they both look the same in fact if you open the docker desktop in the context here you will see that you can switch between the two so if you like me if you have both of these installed minikube and docker desktop uh, you can switch between the context i find docker desktop to be more seamless uh, and the only reason is because with minikube you have to make sure you're running the minikube and you have to first start it and then you you can use it but with docker desktop if you're anyways using docker engine uh, then it's working all the time so it's running all the time so next i'll briefly talk about the study material that i'm going to be using so i think you might have come across if you're interested in ckd one of the course that keeps popping up all the time on different social media sites is this one from udemy that is kubernetes certified application developer and uh, I have personally checked out the course. I think it's really nice. Um, the labs are really good. Uh, they also provide you a similar test environment as the exam. So I think if you go through it and practice enough, you're quite set. Another resource that I'm using, this is the course from Linux Foundation Training. And the only reason that I have this course with me is because last November there was a sale going on on the bundle. So you buy this course and I think exam was included or something like that. And then I went ahead and purchased it. It's still a very handy resource, really good, very uh, theoretical. Um, but if you follow my videos, I will be, I'll make sure to include the exercises, the hands-on exercise from, from this course as well. At this point, I think you should take a quick break, get yourself a coffee. Things are going to get interesting moving forward. Uh, we are going to look at some practical examples. We'll look at the terminal, the commands and things like that. All right, so see you soon after the short break.